Hi, I'm Angus Robinson, Product Manager at the Anritsu Company. Today I'm going to show you the new Anritsu Auto Test and Align software that works with the Anritsu LMR Master to test a wide range of Motorola P25 radios. Let's have a look at the components of the system. We have a PC that's running the software for the auto test and alignment, and the PC is also controlling other aspects of the test system. So here we have the LMR master itself, which is going to make all of the RF measurements on the transmitter and the receiver. And this is the radio we're testing. Radios can be quite high power. They can be up to 30 watts or more. And so we need to have high power attenuators and inline power sensors. The software is used to validate the performance, the RF performance of the radio itself, and to do alignment or recalibration of the radio. These radios are used by first responders, so they're used by the police service, the fire service, the ambulance service, and they're safety critical parts of their mission. So many of the organizations using these P25 radios have a policy of annual maintenance and repair, or um, they also need to be able to repair and calibrate them when they come back faulty from the field. The radio is controlled by the PC over a USB interface and the same uh, USB control is used for the power sensors and the high power attenuator. So let's have a look at the way the software runs in a little bit more detail. I've launched the Anritsu Auto Test and Alignment software. At the top of the screen here, the green dot beside the LMR master shows us that we're connected to an Anritsu S413E and also that it can detect an inline power sensor and that I've applied a cable loss table. The cable loss table application is very important because we need to correct for the cable losses in the test system and that calibration process can be performed whenever the user feels that the cable loss value might be changed. If I click on the APX series button here, it tells me immediately with this orange button that it can detect a radio and if I click on the button it will now read the model number and the serial number of the specific radio that is connected to the test system. As soon as it recognises the radio by model and serial number, it, the screen immediately shows me any previous testing of that radio that's been done. So I can go back and look in history at all the previous tests that have been done on that radio and what the performance of the radio was like. To run a new test, I've got four choices here. Alignment followed by test or test followed by alignment, alignment only or test only. Alignment, the time it takes to do an alignment depends upon how much the radio has drifted in its power over the previous 12 months or since it was last aligned. The testing only takes around about six to eight minutes, again, depending upon the actual performance of the radio. Motorola defined the test plan and it's shown here. I can deselect any test that I don't want to run. So for example, if I just want to run CX power tests, I can just click on the CX power test, but I'm going to run the whole test plan here. So I click on test only and the software sets up the radio and validates that the whole system is configured correctly to perform the testing. This takes a few seconds and it says here performing the setup test to make sure that everything is configured correctly. And when that is completed and the um, fundamental frequency of the oscillator in the radio under test has been verified, it will tell us that on the screen below. So the software has now completed the reference oscillator test and it's passed that frequency measurement and it's now going through all of the other tests in the test plan. As it steps through each of the tests we see the results on the screen here. So in this case it's stepping through the channel plan for this particular radio showing the target power for each channel, the measured power and as you can see the target power um, uncertainty limitations can be very tight, which is why the accurate inline power sensor is required and why it's so important to have good cable loss calibration of the test system. This takes test takes six to eight minutes to run, so we'll just wait for it to run through to completion and then I'll show you the summary report. 
The test plan has now completed and we can see from the table at the bottom here that all the tests have passed successfully. By scrolling up the report we can see for each individual frequency the modulation quality results, the bit error, error rate results and the power results for each of the channels that have been tested. So we have a very detailed and comprehensive report with a header here that tells us all of the information about the radio that's being tested. If I go to the Report Browser tab here, all of the radios I've tested in this folder are shown in a list. I've just tested the same radio repeatedly, but if I was testing 60 or 70 radios over a day, they would all be in the folder here and I could create a singular report with the results for all the radios that have been tested. Clicking on any one of these reports shows us the results on the right-hand panel. And if I right-click, I can export those results to CSV. The default format for these result reports is HTML. So I hope you can see that we have a very powerful way of automatically testing according to the manufacturer's alignment and test specifications, and then creating reports that we can use to document our, our results and to share those results with customers or third parties or for plain archiving and retrieving at a later date. Today I've shown you how powerful the new Auto Test and Align software from Anritsu is for testing various Motorola P25 radios. It's a very comprehensive system comprising the PC application itself, the standard Anritsu LMR master and a couple of essential accessories such as the inline power meter and the high power load. With that combination of components you can pull together a really powerful test system to align and calibrate and measure the performance of your P25 radios. I hope you found that interesting. Thank you for watching.